Okay, we're looking at Mr. Ridley's RMT revision number nine, and we're looking at types of plastic. The first thing we need to know about plastic is that plastic is made from oil. That's the raw material that plastic comes from, or the majority of plastics come from. What's important about that? Why is that important? First of all, where did oil come from? We need to understand this. This is fundamental with plastics. Oil was created millions of years ago in the time of the dinosaurs. It was sea creatures and plants that fell to the sea floor. The bodies built up into layers. Rock formed over them and the pressure turned it into oil. This was a one-off thing. So, oil was made a long time ago. It would take millions of years to make more. So, oil is a finite resource. Plastic from oil is a finite resource. Sooner or later, plastic made from oil will run out. It is not a sustainable product. The other issue of sustainability with plastic is that many products made from plastic are recyclable, but a huge proportion of these end up in landfill. That's their holes dug in the ground and they are buried. Once the plastic is put into landfill, it will not biodegrade. It will not rot away. So there's the two issues in the exam. If you're talking about plastic, it is not sustainable. It is not biodegradable. So let's look at the types of plastics. There are two major types of plastics. Thermoplastics that can be melted and reshaped over and over. They can be easily recycled. Thermosetting plastics, once heated and cooled, they retain their form and they are difficult to recycle. They can be recycled, but they are much, much more difficult to recycle. Thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. So the two main types of plastics. First of all, we're going to look at thermosetting plastics. The two thermosetting plastics we're going to look at are urea formaldehyde. This is used for electrical casings. It, if heated, it gives off toxic fumes. It's quite a brittle plastic. It will crack. It's scratch and stain resistant. It's quite strong. The, it's generally used for plugs, electrical sockets, because if it heats up, it doesn't. It stays rigid. The next one, polyester resin glue. Polyester resin glue, you might have used it. It's a very good resistance to waterproof. It's brittle, but it's got good chemical and heat resistance. Once it sets, you can heat it, it won't melt or it won't soften. They are two thermosetting plastics. Now we're going to look at some thermoplastics. These can be melted, shaped over and over, and they are much more easily recycled. What is this plastic called? This plastic is an important one because you're going to use it in school. Many of you may have used it. It is acrylic. It has good impact strength. It's lightweight. It can be polished. It comes in a range of colors. It's an important one because you've probably used it. It comes up in the exam a lot, acrylic. And it is, of course, a thermoplastic. What's the name of this plastic? It's polythene. It is a thermoplastic. It's tough, resistant to chemicals. It's quite flexible, so it can be squeezed, so it can be in shampoo bottles. It's a good electrical conductor. It can be recycled, but it's not the easiest one to recycle. And again, most of the polythene in things like plastic bags ends up in landfill and it doesn't biodegrade. This plastic is PET. PET has got, is excellent waterproof, it's very waterproof, a good moisture and gas barrier, so it's good, it's used for drinks bottles. It is the, one of the most easily recycled plastics and it is a thermoplastic. This one is PVC, polyvinyl chloride. It's, a, it's recyclable. It has very good chemical resistance. It is durable. It's quite tough. It's lightweight, and it has good chemical resistance. It's used for things like pipes, guttering, plastic window frames, where the chemical resistance and durability are great attributes. So that's PVC, polyvinyl chloride. Next, we've got a very common plastic, 
hips, high impact polystyrene. Another thermoplastic, it's quite tough, it does crack but not easily, it's got a high impact strength and it's easily injection molded. This plastic is used for higher quality injection molding, high quality toys, high quality plastic. This is ABS. Generally ABS products are higher quality than hips. So for example Lego uses ABS because it's a glossier plastic. It's tough. It has a much higher impact strength. It has a glossy high finish. You can It takes colors and keeps the color very well but it is more expensive than hips. That's ABS. 3D printing is an important development in plastic. It builds up the layers to form a solid object. It's a CAD process, so it needs a computer. It needs the thing to be computer drawn. But the plastic that 3D printing has started to use is PLA. PLA is a very important plastic because it is not derived from oil. It is made from plants. PLA is a biopolymer. It is also biodegradable. If you bury it in the ground, you come back in 100 years, it's gone, it's turned to dirt. And PLA is used in 3D printers. When looking at plastics, you should know these two terms. Plasticity, that is the ability to change shape without cracking or bending. And durability, durability is the ability of material to withstand weathering, deterioration, just to keep together. So plasticity and durability. They are very good um, attributes of plastic. You need to remember these two. And now it's question time. Plastics. Name the two types of main types of plastic. They are, of course, thermosets and thermoplastics. This plastic is high impact resistance, makes high quality injection mouldings, is resistant to many chemicals. This plastic is ABS. This plastic is widely recycled, is an excellent moisture and water barrier is easily blow molded into bottles. This plastic is PT. This plastic is very water resistant, is hard once dried and once hard cannot easily be reformed. This plastic is polyester resin glue. This plastic is difficult to recycle once heated and cooled, cannot be easily reformed and is used for electrical fittings. This plastic is urea formaldehyde. What makes PLA different from other plastics? This is PLA used for 3D printing. There's some 3D printing products. It doesn't come from oil. It is biodegradable. It is a biopolymer.